Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spa, and I'm here to share with you the newest album blank that I created. This is a pattern that I used from Paper Phenomenon, and I do have the selling license for these albums. This one here was inspired by Janice Friedman, and on I will link a video. I will put the link down below to the video that this was inspired from. But this was the Peekaboo with Flutter and Bloom collection. And this was a request from a customer of mine that wanted this album. So I went ahead and made it and I figured I'd just go ahead and add it to my shop. So this one here has a window on the front. It's an acetate window. So you will see in the original video how it looks all decorated. So this is actually a combination of the portrait sizes of one, two, three, and five. Those are all the different ones used to make this album. So let's take a quick walk through. So on the front, this is what you have. You can go ahead and do magnet closures or whatever you want. Those are, by the way, the magnets are not included. And then over here, this is the stacked, um, the expandable pockets. And in the video that she did hers, she's got one inch little strips on the sides. So this is a little different than what the original was that they have in the video. I just made it a little more um, user friendly just because it made certain things made more sense to me. So I did do a few adjustments to it. So then we come over here and there is, get a card, a little window pocket right here. You can see. So in the original, the acetate actually came up a little further. I kept my acetate even with the pockets. So I just thought it worked better for the album. And then on this side, it's the same thing. It's just mirror image. So this is, I think I need a bigger piece of paper. But that is right to that. Let's try this. Maybe this will look better. So right here, so you can see where the window pocket is there. And then let me just jump back and show you this one like that. So you can see the little cutout. And then it closes up. Nice room for photos. This is the wallet. And with this wallet too, again, you have a window right there. And then some photo flaps. And then you have a window pocket right here. And these all have acetate. And then whatever kind of closure you want to put on that, you can do magnets. On the one in the video, this was a little wider with a window pocket. I decided not to do that for that one. And then the third page, this one here didn't have any windows. So I went ahead and created it identical with no windows. And then right here, the corner angle pockets, just like that, so you can see. And I did make these a little differently just for matting purposes, so you have a lot of nice space to mat. And then over here, these have window. You can see the glare. I don't think I have anything that would go down inside there, but four matching pockets with the windows. And then go ahead like that. And then on this one here, this is the angle pocket again, just on the other side, again with acetate. And then we come over to the back side here, and this is the one with the slide and lock mechanism. And it opens up like this. And again, with a little window pocket right here, you can see. Now in the video itself, that this particular sliding lock part here, it had a window both sides. I opted not to do that because for the most part, you're not going to be taking, really be taking that off. So I just decided that instead of putting the acetate on both sides, I just put it on one. It didn't make a lot of sense to me to do it on both considering it doesn't come off. So, and then over here, so this third page repeats most of all of the first page actually it's identical so the first and the third are the same so again with those pockets open up just like that and 
them again right here. And then room for photos. And then we go back to the same wallet again with the acetate window here and the one over here. And then the back part here. And then nice space for photos and stuff. If you want, you can go ahead and add a pocket. Again, the original one didn't have a pocket, so I just left it the same as far as that part goes. Alrighty. So anyway, this will be in my shop for sale under the mini album blanks. And you can go ahead and purchase it over there. And anyway, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you would subscribe. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.